All right. Well, I'm going to do my best to attempt to video this. So the boy got me a remote starter kit for Christmas, which I'm really excited about. And I watched a couple of videos on this. They actually have a really good uh, video on how to install this. Now, I tried to do this the other day and then I quit because I was like, I don't know, this is, this is pretty crazy. But, we're going to give her what for here. I got about an hour. And we're going to see if we can get this thing done. Alright, so, you can watch the videos. Here's the instructions. Number one. This one. Remote start module. That's this thing. Number two. USB programming device. Used only during the installation when completing the clone process. It will not be used after the installation is complete. Alright. So that's this thing. Number three. OBD2 harness. That's that thing. So... Nope, not that one. That's this one. Okay. Number four. Ignition switch T harness. That's that one. Pry tool. Check. Zip ties. Check. Alright. Gain access to the areas of the car where the T harness and module will be installed. Alright. So... There's two screws. There's one here and one here. This is a 2015, yeah, 2015 Dodge 2500. So we need to get that out. And I need to find some place to set you guys up here. All right, let's. Are you going to sit there? Oh, come on. All right, let's, let's get you guys. So you can see here. Oh, I can't see that. Okay. Nope. Yep. Okay. All right. So here we go. Uh, I made it this far the other day. And, uh, I got this panel off and started researching some stuff. And that's when I got scared because I didn't know if I'd get it done in time to go to work. But, I think I can do it here. Alright, so you gotta rip this thing off. Just give her a jerk. Okay. Connect the T-harness ignition switch to T-harness in the OBD2 T-harness to the vehicle and the module to the T-harness. Yeah. Well, that sounds simple. I'm specifically doing this. I'm specifically doing this by the written instructions. So, if you can't follow the videos along, you know exactly what you're getting into. All right. So, gain access to the areas of the car. I did that. Step two, connect the T-harness, ignition switch T-harness, and OBD2 harness to the vehicle and the module to the T-harness. All right, well, it doesn't really tell you which one you're supposed to do first. So, let's try the... Uh, Let's try the ignition switch one. Alright. Alright, so let's pull this thing out here. There's a bunch of zip ties in here. Alright, we're going to leave them in there for now. Now, it says 
see page four for the T-Harness installation or watch the video at remotestartx.com. All right, so let's see page four. T-Harness. T-Harness was created for a simple and quick installation. Number one, ignition switch T-Harness. Connect in line with connector behind the vehicle's ignition switch. Two, uh, optional RF kit connector. Connect a long range remote or cell phone. Well, nope, can't. CAN bus connector. Connect the main T harness to the OBD2 harness. Uh, oh my gosh. All right, well, number one, connect in line with the connector behind the vehicle's ignition switch. Which. See, this is what drives this is what drives me crazy. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven places to connect to. So how in the world are you supposed to figure out which one goes where? Well, let's look underneath here. Gotta take my hat off. So the ignition switch is right here. Okay, and I don't have my glasses on, so I can't even really see how that thing comes out. Okay, got that. All right. So, there's your ignition switch one. And I'm guessing we're going to put the female version on of this harness on that. All right, let's do that. Now, okay, good deal, that's done. So that was step one. Step two, optional RF kit, which we don't have. Step three, CAN bus connector. Connect the main T harness to the OBD2 T harness. All right, so I guess I got to put the OBD2 harness in now. All right. Put my knife back. All right, there's a bunch of tie wraps in that one too. Okay, so Does it set, remove the two screws on the bottom of the lower dash panel? Use the pry tool to unsnap the lower dash panel. Okay, did that. Disconnect the connector behind the ignition switch. Did that. Disconnect the OBD2 connector. Connect the OBD2 T harness in line. All right. So we need to take out the OBD D D D2 connector, which I'm sure is going to be a piece of cake. Yeah. Now, how in the Sam Hill? Oh, there we go. All right. I just had to push harder. All right. So we got that. So this is the OBD OBD T T OBD two. Say that ten times fast you can. All right. So we need to put this on here. Okay, that's done. Make sure it's in tight. Okay, good. Now, connect the main T harness to the OBD2 harness. Okay, so... How do we do that? So here's, here is a, well, we got a white connector here. Oh, 
Okay, so I see here. See, it shows you. So you take the little white connectors and plug them together. Okay, so OBD2. OBD2. Okay. Connect in line with the vehicles. Connect the main T harness to the OBD T harness. Remote starter module connectors. Connect to the remote starter module, which is this. This is your remote starter module. Now everything looks like it's color coded. So let me see if there's any more pictures of. No. Okay. So I'm assuming. The two connectors that are left go into here, but I don't know. Okay, that goes in there. And then there's a four pin. Where does that go? Because that's only, does that fit in there? No. And there's a blue one. Okay. Where does this one go? So, you see here, so I got one left. Now, I don't know if that's just for a different style of something or, oh, maybe it goes right there. Let me see. Oh, yep, it goes on this side. All right. So there's all that. All right, now apparently, apparently, don't judge me, I'm having a bad hair day. Apparently we got everything hooked up here. So, all right, remove the da da da, disconnect the OBD, okay. So I did all this. All right, now it says, Press and hold the programming button while still holding it down. Connect the black connector. Oh. See, I should have waited. That was a that was my fault. Alright, so press and hold the programming button. While hold, still holding it down, connect the black connector. Alright, so we're gonna press this down. Plug that in. When the LED on the remote start module flashes red, release the button. Okay, it's flashing red. Release the button. All right, then it says connect the blue and white, which I already did. All right, now close the driver's door. I think I need to see this. So I'm going to set that up there. Close the driver's door, reopen the driver's door. Okay. Press the unlock on the OEM remote multiple times until the module LED flashes green. Okay, unlock. All right, it flashed green first time. Well, it says multiple times. What's multiple mean? I mean, is multiple two or 200? Well, let's do it one more time. All right, didn't flash screen that time. I don't know. All right, it must have got it. Okay. Turn the key to the on run position. Okay. It's on the on run position. Wait for the LED on the remote start module to turn solid red. All right, we're waiting.
see now. I I don't know how long it's supposed to take. Let me read through this. Turn the key to the on run position. Okay, it's on run. Yep. Wait for the LED on the remote start module to turn solid red. Well, see, I wish they would tell you, like, it might take up to 30 seconds, 5 minutes, whatever. All right, let's let's read read ahead here a little bit while we're waiting for this thing to turn red. Uh Okay, so wait for the LED on the remote start module to turn solid red. Turn the key to the off position, remove the key. Insert the key and turn it to the on run position. So you got to do that again. Okay. Wait for the LED on the remote start module to flash green and remove the key. Disconnect the remote start module from the T harness. Disconnect the black connector last. All right. So while I'm still waiting for this thing to turn red here, then you get into the. So we did all this, and now we're right here. So this is where it says programming. So it says programming. Watch the video at remotestartx.com slash clone. So evidently you have to sign up. So you say sign up at a weblink updater.com. Download the install weblink deskware soft desktop software. Plug the USB programming device into a computer and the remote starter to the USB device. The remote starter should not be connected to the vehicle. Open up the weblink software. Click Weblink RS. Click Start Extended Programming. Click Continue Extended Programming. You know, I think I missed a step here somewhere. Reconnect the Start Module to Vehicle. No. All right, where does it tell you? Oh, I see. Well, this thing still hasn't turned red, so I'm not feeling all warm and fuzzy about it. And I don't know what time it is. What in the world? Like, seriously? There's one more blue connector thingy on here, but I don't see where it plugs into anything. So I don't know. It's just a four pin. One, two, three, four. Yeah, it's just a four pin connector. We don't have any more four pin connectors. And it can't plug in there. It can't plug in there. Oh, this is what drives me crazy. All right, so I think, I don't know, something went wrong here. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to start back at where we got everything, everything plugged in. Everything seems good. I'm going to turn that off. All right, so... Press and hold the programming button while still holding it down. Connect the black connector. All right. So we're going to unhook the black connector. Press down the programming button. And plug this in again.
All right. When the LED on the remote start flash is red, release the button. Reset is complete. Okay, so I did that. Close the driver's door. Reopen the driver's door. All right, let's do that. All right. Press unlock on the OEM remote multiple times until the module LED flashes green once. All right. Press unlock. All right, it flashed green. So we're good. If the LED does not flash green, flash the firmware and then start the programming again. Okay, it did. Turn, turn the key to the on run position. All right, accessory, run. Wait for the LED on the remote start to turn solid red. All right, so that's what I'm waiting for. Turn the key to the on run position. So it's in run. Well, I'm going to give this thing about another two and a half, three minutes, and then I'm going to take everything off, hook it all back up again and start another day i guess but we got so there's some really cold weather here today's friday uh like the 13th or something uh but we got some really cold weather coming in here next week and i wanted to get this hooked up so i could start my truck up at work because uh sometimes i gotta park pretty far away so What in the crap? See, this is... Alright, Stardex, so if you're watching this video, or you... Whatever. So right here, step 5 under programming, where it says, Wait for the LED on the remote start module to turn solid red. Okay? So, tell us how long it, on average, it should probably take... And what to do if it doesn't turn red. Because, look, it's still not turning red. And these things aren't cheap. Oh, this is so frustrating. All right, so let me just double check stuff while I'm waiting for this to turn red. So that's that's plugged in. That's plugged in. Is there something I'm missing here? No, there's only... Oh. I think I realized what I did. So... This connector right here, I think, was supposed to go back into the start module. Alright, well. Come on. Alright, well, that's my bad. So, let me plug this back into the... Well, you know what? I'm just going to disconnect everything. We're going to disconnect everything. Start over. Alright, so, disconnect the programming module. Plug this in. 
No? Alright, turn it around the other way. Alright. Alright, so that's plugged in. Alright. <clears throat> so, plug the white one in. Where does it go? Okay, white one goes there. Blue one goes here. Somehow. All right. Okay. Let's turn this off. Take that out. Press and hold the programming button while still holding it down. Connect the black connector. When the LED on the remote start fl module flashes red, release the button. Okay, so we're going to do this again. Oop. Okay, so it flashed red. Close the driver's door, reopen the driver's door. Alright, let's do that. Okay. Press the unlock on the OEM remote multiple times until the module turns green. Alright, so let's... Okay, turn green. Turn the key to the on run position. Oh, there we go. All right. Wait for the LED on the remote start module to turn solid red. So it turned red. It turned red. User error. My bad. All right, so we're good. Turn the key to the off position. Off. Remove key. Remove key. Insert the key and turn it to the on run position. Wait for the LED on the remote start module to flash green and remove the key. All right, I think we're making some progress here, folks. So I'm kind of excited. Now, the only thing is we got to do the programming stuff. So I don't know how that's going to go, but this is going to be a long video. But I'm, listen, this is real time, real life. This is how it is. All right, still red. I don't know if you can see that, but still red. So I gotta wait till it wait for the LED on the remote start module to flash green and remove the key. Is there anything else I might have hooked up wrong? Well, not that I can see. It's still red. There's this one connector here, this blue one. But I don't know. I don't know what it's supposed to, if it's supposed to hook up to something or. Still red. Uh. Two, optional RF kit connector, okay. So that this blue connector is for an optional RF kit connector, which I don't have. All right, let's go back to the programming here. So once this thing turns flashes green, I am to remove the key, disconnect the remote start module from the T harness. Disconnect the black connector last. So that must be important. Still not green. And then you have to get on the complicator and download some software, I guess. And bring everything back out. What, am, what is going on here? Alright, so wait for the LED module. 
I did that. Turn solid red. Turn the key to the off position. I did that. I removed the key. Did that. Insert the key. Turn it to the on run position. Which is what I just did. Wait for the LED on the remote start module to flash green and remove the key. Well, it's still red. <sighs> Alright, well, I'm going to... This is my little setup here, so I'm going to pause you and see what happens here. Stand by! Alright, so I was reading through the instructions. And there was one thing, one step I did out of order. So we're going to start all over again. And see if we can get this to work. So I'm going to unplug everything. Okay, so for programming, the very first step, it says, press and hold the programming button while still holding it down, connect the black connector. All right, so I'm going to press and hold this down. When the LED on the remote starts flashes red, release the button. Okay. I did that. All right. Now it says connect the blue and white connectors to the module followed by the programming below. So that now we're going to connect the blue Make sure that's in, and the white, and these are all, these connectors will only go in one place, so you can't screw them up. All right, so now it says to close the driver's door, reopen the driver's door. All right, so close the driver's door, reopen it. Press the unlock on the OEM remote multiple times. All right, now it says multiple times. Uh, so I'm going to do it multiple times, but it's going to flash green. All right, there, I did it three times. Okay, turn the key to the on run position. All right, wait for the LED on the remote start module to turn red. It did. Turn the key to the off position again. Remove key. All right, insert and turn it to the on run position again. Which I just did. Wait for the LED on the remote start module to flash green. Alright, so it's doing the same thing it did before. It's staying solid red. This thing's got three minutes and then I'm done. Which... So, all the connectors and stuff are pretty simple, and reading through the instructions is pretty simple. You just got to take your time and do it, you know, step by step. All right, you got two minutes, and then I'm unhooking you, putting everything back together, and we're going to have to try it again another day, because I don't know what the crap is going on. All right, it's still red. And I am confident that I did everything the way I was supposed to this time. There's a little note in the box there. It says, well, let's read it. It says, most returns happen because of installation errors. Please contact us and we will be glad to assist you. Well... That's great, but see, and as fast as that thing turned colors before, and it's still red, I, I think something's not right here, because I would think that it would turn green pretty quick. All 
Well, the dog's out there. All right, you got one minute. I mean, technology's great when it works, but when it doesn't, it's like, just, oh, it makes me want to smash something. Still red. All right, you got one minute. All right, time's up, it's still red. So I'm gonna disconnect everything, put everything back the way it was. Hopefully my truck starts. And uh, I'll have to do another video and see if I can figure out what I'm doing wrong. So this is part one of the Start X Remote Starter Kit installation for a 2015 Ram 2500. All right. God bless each and every one of you. We'll see you on the next one. Here we go.